One thing to highlight here is the importance of the Advanced Security Information Model, or ASIM, which is the guiding framework to which normalization happens within Microsoft Sentinel. Let's take an example of a hypothetical proprietary network solution and see how we can leverage ASIM to easily apply existing detections on this custom data source. Here, I'm ingesting a custom network log that provides two main fields, one event info and another being the event message. Now, looking into the message field, there is some consistency in the way the entries are being written. And what we can do here is to use the parse function, which allows us to essentially build a key value pair and match the structure of the entry into the different components we would like to extract. So herein, you'll notice we're extracting network protocol, which would be TCP or UDP. We have and will exclude the request from text and continue to pull out things like source IP address, port number, etc. Alternatively, you could use regex parsing as well if preferred. Running this, you'll notice that the long entry has now been parsed neatly into our desired columns. Coming back to the other field of interest, which was event info, just from visual inspection, we can observe that a good delimiter to use in this case would be a space. In such a case, we can leverage another parsing mechanism called split, which will break out the text entry using a space as the delimiter. Running this, you notice now that we have a very neatly parsed array containing the three different event info components. So let's say I was only interested in these two fields. We can simply click in and extend the two columns. Now, before we rename these fields, it would be useful to look into the ASIM network model to understand what are the available and preferred field names. Coming back to our original parsing query, we can now rename this into destination zone, and the second one will rename to network session ID. Running this, you'll notice that destination zone and network session ID have been pulled out. So let's just add a couple of finishing touches. You notice in here that my log source did not provide an event vendor name, but I would like to identify what this log source is, and we can do so by extending and appending a custom name for this event vendor. And perhaps you'd like to store your raw data neatly in one column. We can use a pack function to do so. And let's project away any temporary columns for cleanup. So here, you notice we end up with a very neatly parsed event package, drastically different from what we had originally, rendering it much more usable, while still retaining our original data as well. What we'll do next is to save this as a function, and let's call it ASIM Network Session Custom. The next thing we need to do is to go into the ASIM Network Session function and add our custom parser into the union. This function essentially identifies which underlying data sources should be abstracted into the broader ASIM Network group. So now, if we were to query the ASIM network session table, we are able to immediately access all other underlying network data sources, whether it be Palo Alto, Zscaler, Linux Sysmon, and more. Using this partition query, we're just going to showcase two entries per unique event vendor. And you'll notice we have Palo Alto here, Microsoft VM Connection, and of course, the proprietary network solution we just added.